Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Deluxe Class Snarl. Let's take a look at it. Uh, I like the fact that you can see very detailed looking lines here. Molding on the frills. I like the frills. They move up and down. Horns move up and down. For a Triceratops, is missing his front horn. Yeah, I never knew, noticed that before. <laughs> That's okay. Dinobot symbol. Autobot symbol, rather. I like the low beak. Missing a horn. And his uh, front jaw or lower jaw does move up and down, so that's kind of neat. Looking good so far. You got the little crest over here. His legs do move up side to side here, so it's kind of neat. So it is what it is. Tail don't swivel. You can see the robot's extra head or the head here, robot extras. So not that bad. Clean lines. Animated wasn't known for its molding, so you can see uh, very sparse molding. Paint apps are good. So it's not that bad. I like the legs. They move up. You kind of kind of see a little gap in there, but it's nothing horrible. So it moves. It walks. It can, yeah, it can definitely walk. That being said, it's not a bad mode. So 8 out of 10. Let's go ahead and transform them. See if I remember how to do this. I do remember that the fact is that you move this back. Yeah, move that up. Okay, that's going to become the legs. So the legs are basically going to connect and that's about it we're gonna move and see that one back up all right good legs is what it is okay and I, I love this auto transfer and we're gonna move this back down because that's gonna be come hit the dude's chest piece okay let's see I like the I love that auto more it doesn't move or anything it's just that it slides out it's not really an automorph but I like that it fa fact that it slides out so, we're going to move the legs down. We're going to move this piece down. Uh, and the legs just swivel all the way down. See that little swivel joint right there? Okay. So, we're going to split open the legs. There we go. Or, sorry, the tails. I'm going to move that down. All the way down. Yeah. So, make sure that that fits all the way down. That goes down as well. Horns go up for a nice added effect. That's looking good. All right, let's see. For the arms, they just flip out. And they have a nice little grip here, a thumb grip. So not bad for a deluxe class. Nice molded fists. And let's see. Legs don't like to stay in place oh yeah very important you get the dang heel spurs out Ugh, or else this dude ain't gonna stand there we go so yeah heel spurs just go out there we go and I wish this thing clicked together better but yeah there we go oh one thing too and as you fold this out there's this little tab right here and basically it fans out the flames so we're going to move that out fan out the faint flame so he's got a little cool looking flame effect and it comes with this club which you can put in it tabs into either fists and you can hold it securely there we go somewhat securely <laughs> that's okay have that sucker in. There we go. Also got cool looking light piping. I like light piping. I'm a big fan. So let's see if the if the you know flashlight wants to work. There we go. You can kind of tell he has light piping. You don't have to take my word for it. Yeah. Anyways, you got light piping. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Cheeto, we don't need that anymore. I like the horns over here. Uh, let's see. I like the little frills here. But other than that, it's really lacking in detailing. Yeah. Articulation ain't that great. His head does swivel. Arm or the wrist or what do you call that? Shoulder. That's all it does. And it, limited articulation in the arms because of that. His hands do move in and out. Uh, really, 
man, he's just having a difficult time. I forgot to split the tail over here for the back. It does give it a little extra support. Let's see, it has this weird looking ankle joint and the knee is about the most articulated, but even that doesn't move that much. So I don't like the design. I really, I mean, it is okay. And it also has an attack mode where you, you can put his head to growl, but you know, really who cares so okay let's go ahead and stand this up if this dude can stand up again yeah there we go I like him pose with his horns like that or his frills up like that so yeah you can't see the dude's head but you know oh well here he is size comparison with Megatron so as you can see he's a short squat fella about five inches so he's looking okay uh, I wish he would have uh, given more thought to this thing because uh, I'm really trying to like it I, I really am but other than that it is what it is I'll give a six out of ten on robot mode all right, YouTubers, that's all I got. I'll catch you all next time.